Hello again, this is Art Johnson with New World Communications. And it's been a while since we were doing our YouTube videos. We did a last review of uh, Bill Gates's How to Avoid a Climate Disaster. And uh, since that time in August the 2nd, uh, the IPCC, the International Panel on Climate Change, it says it's even more dire and that we really got to come together and be more effective in dealing with climate change through climate action, concerted action. So that got me thinking, wow, man, I've got to, as a matter of habit, I've got to become more effective. And that reminded me of the fact that don't I have a book about that. And I said, wow, yes, I do. And I remembered that I have uh, Stephen R. Covey's the seven habits of highly effective people on my bookshelf and I needed to dust it off and, and dive back into it and see if I can actually not only just read it, but live it and get become more effective, you know, for my both my private victory and my public victories uh, with firstly in my personal affairs and in my business affairs. So anyway, this this uh, this video is about doing this, and so I invite you to see what I've been doing with this, with the hope that you may want to embrace this and start working with me to really do it in a very collaborative and very very powerful way. So here we go. So the book is called "The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People," and we are revisiting this from a perspective of 19, not 1989 when this was, but really now. And to see how relevant it is now, and to you know apply and live it, you know, for these are powerful lessons in personal change. So the reason why I'm focusing on it is, is these three areas having to do with my habits and becoming more effective with them knowledge what to do why to do it skills how to do things which i've really become good at that habits and uh and the desire and wanting and needing to do this so I, i'm being called from within this is why this book really makes a lot of sense to me because it's it's all principle centered and it has to do with you know this human spirit and human phenomenon and not you know the phenomenon of human potential and so the seven habits paradigm is really worth living and it starts with being dependent uh, and these these are the various habits being proactive begin with the end in mind and putting first things first so that you can become independent very resourceful personally but then that's not enough you then move into interdependence which is thinking win-win, um, seeking first to understand and then to be understood and then synergizing. And there's a seven one, seventh one, which is called sharpening the saw. So let's go right into that. And I'll talk to you about how I'm applying this and maybe you can start applying it to your own life. He starts out by having us and me understand the situations of dependence and social conditioning and has a great Harvard, Harvard Business School lesson on social uh, conditioning and seeing. And so the experiment is one group of students was told to see a young woman in this image. So you can see her chin and her ear, and she's kind of looking sideways and has a necklace. And she's probably pretty attractive. And so that kind of influences behavior. <laughs> And then there's another group of people of students that were shown and were told to see an old woman in the same image here. And if you look where there was a chin, now you can see the nose of an old woman and one of her eyes and uh, her mouth, a very narrow um, mouth. And so you have these two different perceptions based on what people are told. So the master lesson is, is how, how easy it is to be socially conditioned to see certain things and to even behave a certain way based on what you are told. It's a great, great lesson. And um, what it involves, you know, in order to get up beyond that is it involves critical thinking 
and understanding that there is a there is a, a world beyond just reacting to your social mirror and you know realizing how really unfree it is and you know it's like being one of pavlov's dogs you know where he could condition dogs with certain you know treats and stuff right here and perks and you can you know and you know social mirrors and we have social media which is becomes a big social mirror that's telling us not only how to think what to see but even what to how to behave so we need to need to make a paradigm shift involving these seven habits to have us be more free, more self-aware, freer, and, and have, lead a more effective life where we need to. So he talks about habit number one of being proactive, proactive as, as opposed to being reactive. Reactive is to the external forces. Um, the proactive model starts from the inside out. This is, you know, deep within inside of you and at your personal center, your principal center is the possibility of self-awareness, the exercise of imagination, to be called by your conscience and to exercise your independent will. So there's a lot that can be done between stimulus and response. And you have the freedom to choose this. And the more that you develop your habits, you you increase your response ability isn't that cool that's a great way of thinking about it your ability to to respond not just by reacting but being proactive to really get some change going on and so man there's a lot of stuff on my mind that matter to me uh, i don't want to go too much in that i don't want to spend much time here but you know a lot of these are probably impacting you in certain ways I know this climate catastrophe thing is really scotting me scared. And, you know, we're threatened with life mass extinction. And we're seeing it right now, you know, the fires and you know, the wars and just, just horrible conflict and people being unemployed and health and wellness crisis and all of this. So here's, but, you know, that's, outside my circle of influence right now. I'm not very powerful <laughs> in doing much to do that. But uh, the whole idea is to circle, to expand, enlarge my circle of influence in things that matter. So you see, I wanna have this, I wanna be able to deal with all this. Now, well, how can I do this? I'm just one little person. Well, I'm not, I've got this silent partner and I'm a part of this, giant, you know, this, this oneness we'll talk about a little bit later. Thank you for watching part one of our four part series and stay tuned for part number two and be sure to check our convenient navigation menu for your reference. Thank you so much.